Hello and welcome to my review of Young Roddy, Route the Ruler. Young Roddy is a Jet Life artist, and for me he's one of the standouts. And I do feel like he is also for the chef, and the, at least from the outside looking in, he's the chief in charge of that currency, who did give him a fairly good cosign on the bales, which was a collaborative mixtape they dropped last year. Okay, Currency does release a lot of mixtapes, but he doesn't release so many collaborative mixtapes. really do feel like he's putting in some extra effort getting Young Roddy out there. And I do feel like he's also one of the standout artists of that, so it's well justified. He's got his own Good Sense mixtape series, which, if nothing else, I always found to be enjoyable. So there are two major strengths Young Roddy has. Firstly, his ear for beats. Most of them are sample based and they do give you some soul while really having your nice kicking in their drum track. Sometimes synths, but other times they're also acoustic drums. And I do like his final comparison on the last track. He rhymes over the takeover off of Jay Z's The Blueprint and he just gets some cosigns on the outro there. But I really do find it striking that the beats are fairly similar or at least made in the same style while having a nice drive they're also soulful and just really nice big shout out to Blair North who does the majority of the production some of the productions also taken from old stuff like for example Raiden is an old J. Dillo beat and his second big strength is his flow while nasally I really do feel like he's got a strong presence here and he raps and it just cuts through the beat and it sounds really good. Slick, sympathetic, just all together he flows just so well. You can really ride with that. Lyrically, he's no genius. He's street smart, interesting enough, and similes his punchlines. And overall he's just gonna mostly give you braggadocio, luxury, weed, girls, money, cars, but also the hustler's mentality or life in the streets where he comes from. For example, Money featuring Smoke Dizza, he drops the lines, I ain't going back to that trap life. I'm like, no how, no way. My Grammy always pray. She hoped that no trouble come my way. He has some high points, like for example, the hook, Get it while the getting's good, which he repeats really quickly multiple times. It does sound really nice. And he can, that's just something else he does. He changes it up. He gives you the faster songs like While the Gettin's Good or the slower, like Baby. As well as the topics, from girls to weed to luxury life. And the beats, he just changes it up to always keep it interesting. And at 12 tracks, which is a good length, he doesn't overstay his welcome. And he does give you enough that you feel like, yeah, I listened to a whole Young Roddy project, not just an EP. The couple, mainly three features he's got on here, they are all good for their individual styles, Smoke Dizza, Currency, Fiend, where I really gotta say Fiend really did put in his all. Smoke Dizza and Currency sound good, but they sound like they always sound. Roddy is not really like Currency, I really do feel like they're two separate artists. Sometimes I feel like you can confuse them just because they're both Jet Life artists, they both like to smoke weed, and they both like to live fancily. But really, he does have his own production style, Blair North, big shout out to you. He really did make this album, as long as his flow. His rhymes are a little bit more street than Currency's, and I do feel like he's a really good and sound original artist. And while his lyrics are not that deep, they all do combine to be a good summertime album. It's enjoyable, and I like it from front to back. It sounds really good, but it's not too deep. I don't got a front there. Four out of five.